All right, let's crank things up. We're about to dive into a world of pure sonic energy, dance hall. And this time around, we're taking it straight to the streets with DJ Treasure's VYBZ Cartel Mix 2024 Freedom Street Vol 1. Oh, you know DJ Treasure brings the heat. Always. And huge shout out to our listener for putting this one on our radar, by the way. You know we live for these deep dives, right? Absolutely. Here. Always up for a sonic adventure. And that's what this is, right? Because, I mean, I know I can get lost in a good mix, just vibing, not really paying attention to the lyrics. Just, just letting the rhythm take over. Exactly. But today, we're flipping the script. We're treating these lyrics like cultural artifacts, little pieces of a story, yeah. And this story, it's going to take us deep into the heart of Jamaican society. And that's what makes Dance Hall so powerful, isn't it? It's not just music. It's a reflection of life, raw and unfiltered. Okay, see, I love that you said that because I got to admit, when I first heard this mix, raw was definitely the word that came to mind. It's a force of nature. Think about it. Sound system clashes. Artists going head to head, battling for space, for recognition. That energy, that rawness, it, it's all there in the music. It's like a sonic battleground. No wonder they called DJ Treasure the mixtape emperor. He doesn't mess around. No, he doesn't. And this mix, it's like a masterclass in dance hall's evolution. You can hear the influences, the history, all these threads coming it's together. Threads. I like that because this mix, it's like it's weaving together all these different themes, right? Hardship, hope, violence, aspiration. It's all there laid bare. And that's what makes it so compelling. It's not afraid to confront the realities of life in Jamaica, the economic struggles, the violence, the ever-present threat of well, everything. It's heavy stuff. It is. But at the same time, there's this incredible energy, this resilience, this refusal to be silenced. <sighs> Take, for instance, the line, Jamaica, this Caribbean island, became the murder capital of the world. Wow. Yeah, I remember that one. It hits you right in the gut. No shying away from the truth there. Exactly. But then, in the very next verse, you might hear about someone hustling, chasing dreams, determined to escape that reality. Like, we'd be climbing the mountain, keep chasing the bag with the road. It's that constant push and pull between despair and determination that makes dance hall so captivating. Totally. It's like, yeah, life can be rough, but I'm going to rise above it. I'm going to create my own destiny. It's empowering in a way. Absolutely. And for many, that empowerment manifests in the pursuit of material wealth brand names, status symbols. It's a way to reclaim agency in a world that often feels stacked against you. Yeah, you hear a lot about that in this mix. Platinum, Bentleys. It's like <laughs> no. these things become more than just objects. They become symbols of success, you know? Like, I made it, I beat the odds. Precisely. It's a way of saying, I'm here, I matter, and I'm not going to be ignored. But, and I'm just throwing this out there, doesn't that kind of feed into the problem? Like, if we're constantly glorifying material wealth, aren't we just perpetuating the very systems that create inequality in the first place? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Yeah. It's a complex issue with no easy answers. But it highlights that tension between individual aspiration and the systemic forces at play. And that's where the art of the boast comes in. Oh, yeah. The braggadocio, we hear a lot of that in this mix. Artists boasting about their wealth, their skills, their, well, everything. It's almost like a lyrical arms race. Exactly. Remember those sound system clashes we talked about? <sighs> that competitive spirit is woven into dance hall's DNA. Boasting becomes a way to command attention, to assert dominance, to say, I'm here and I'm a force to be reckoned with. So it's not just ego, it's a survival tactic. In a way, yes. It's about claiming your power, especially when you come from a place where that power is constantly being challenged or denied. Almost like armor, yeah. Putting up a front even when everything feels uncertain. Exactly. And speaking of uncertainty, one thing that really jumped out at me in this mix is how much distrust comes up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially in songs about love and relationships. There's like this undercurrent of unease running through it all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Totally. It's like even when they're singing about love, there's this sense that it could all fall apart at any moment. Right. It's like they're bracing for impact, even in the good times. Oh. Remember that line? Uh, I'm checking up on me every time, every time, every time. Oh, yeah. It's like they can't even relax, you know, like always looking over their shoulder, always expecting the worst. And if you think about it in the context of like the wider social and political climate in Jamaica. Oh, wow. It starts to make sense, right? Yeah. When corruption and betrayal are everywhere, it's bound to seep into your personal life, too. It's like a cycle, man. Totally. And those lyrics about heartbreak, 
Man, they hit different when you see the bigger picture. They really do. It's like yeah. suddenly it's not just a song about a breakup. It's about this deep-seated fear of being betrayed by the people you're supposed to be able to trust the most. Exactly. Mm. And that's the thing about dance hall, right? It's raw. It's real. Yeah. It doesn't sugarcoat anything. But even in the darkness, even in the darkness, there's this incredible sense of hope and resilience. Like, remember, this music is meant to be danced to, to be celebrated. It's not all doom and gloom. It's like finding the light, even when things are tough. Exactly. It's about finding joy in the struggle, finding ways to rise above the challenges. There's a lyric in here that I absolutely love. I Give thanks for life every day, a new day. Give thanks for life. Yeah, it's like a mantra. Right. It's a reminder to be grateful for what you have, even when things are hard. And I think that's something we can all relate to, no matter where we come from. Totally. It's universal. So... You know, we've been talking a lot about the bigger picture here, the societal impact, all yeah. that. But I'm curious, on a personal level, what are your takeaways from this mix? What really stood out to you? You know, that's a great question. Yeah. It really got me thinking about the duality of dance hall. The duality? Yeah. Like, on one hand, you have this raw, unfiltered expression of life in Jamaica. Yeah. The good, the bad, and everything in between. Right. And then on the other hand, you have this infectious energy, this urge to move, to celebrate, to just let go. It's like holding those two things in tension, right? The struggle and the joy, the pain and the hope. Exactly. And I think that's what makes this music so powerful. It's not afraid to be vulnerable, you know? It embraces the full spectrum of human emotion. It's real, man. It's authentic. Exactly. And I think this mix really captures that authenticity. It's a wild ride, but it's a ride worth taking. It really is. And, you know, it makes me think this mix, as long as it is, it's really just one tiny snapshot of a much bigger story, you know? Oh, absolutely. Dance Hall is constantly evolving, always changing, always responding to the world around it. What we're hearing in this mix is just a glimpse into this ever-shifting landscape. Totally. And speaking of glimpses... I got to wonder what our listeners are picking up on. What are you guys hearing in this mix? What resonates with you? What surprises you? Hit us up on social media and let us know. It's like we're all piecing together this giant sonic jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. And that's part of the fun, right? Everyone brings their own perspective. Exactly. We've got all these different interpretations swirling around. And speaking of different perspectives, one thing that I found really interesting was how this mix deals with love and relationships. Oh, yeah. It's not all like hearts and flowers, you know. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. You've got your classic love songs. But then there's this whole other side to it. Infidelity, distrust, even those kind of transactional relationships. Right. Like that one line, uh, baby girl, baby girl, it's a wide world with no daddy. Oh, yeah. Heavy stuff, right? Yeah, it really makes you think about the weight that's often placed on women especially in those situations where they're raising children on their own. Oh, it's absolutely. It's like a whole other layer of complexity, you know. Mm. But then at the same time, you have this incredible reverence for the mother figure in a lot of these songs. Oh, yeah. It's like amidst all the bravado and the tough talk, there's this deep respect for mothers and the sacrifices they make. It's like they represent this unwavering source of strength and stability, you know. Yeah. Totally. Like that line, uh, and then, but this love, this you come next to, the, it just hits you right in the feels. It does. It's that unconditional love, that sense of always having someone in your corner, no matter what. Exactly. And I think that contrast between the harsh realities of life on Freedom Street and those moments of tenderness and vulnerability, right. that's what makes this music so powerful. It's a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there's always room for love and hope. Beautifully said. It's that duality that makes Dance Hall so captivating. Totally. It's a wild, wild ride, this mix. But man, am I glad we took it. Me too. <laughs> Always an adventure. So as we wrap things up here, any final thoughts? What's the one thing you want our listeners to take away from this deep dive? You know, for me, it's about recognizing the power of music to transport us to different worlds, to challenge our perspectives, and to connect us on a deeper level. Even if that world feels a million miles away, there's always something to be learned, something to be felt, something to be shared. So well said. And on that note, we've reached the end of our dance hall journey. Huge thanks to our listener for sending in this incredible mix. You know who you are. Big up. And of course, a huge thank you to our expert for guiding us through this sonic landscape. My pleasure as always. Until next time, keep those ears open, those minds curious, and never stop exploring the world through sound. We'll catch you on the flip side.